Uniform motion problem. An object that moves without changing its rate is said to be in uniform motion. The formula D equals RT gives the relationship between distance D, rate R, and time T. D equals R times T. Uniform motion problems may involve objects that are moving towards each other, moving away from each other, and overtaking. Problem 1. Two trains traveling towards each other left from two stations that are 750 miles apart at 4 p.m. If the rate of train A is 73 mph and the rate of train B is 77 mph, at what time will they pass each other? Here's an illustration. If you observe, the distance traveled by train A plus the distance traveled by train B is just equal to the total distance. A plus B equals 750, our solution. So let T be the number of hours the two trains will pass each other and 4 p.m. plus T equals the time the two trains will pass each other. Let's organize using a chart. The rate of train A is 73 and train B is 77. The distance traveled by train A is 73T and for train B, 77T. So our equation is 73T plus 770T is equal to 750. Simplifying, we have 150T equals 750. Divide both sides by 150T is equal to 5. And uh, time is... 4 p.m. plus 5 equals 9 p.m. Problem 2. Two trains started at 8 p.m. from the same point. Train A traveled north at a rate of 80 mph and train B traveled south at the rate of 100 mph. At what time were they 540 miles apart? Let's illustrate. Distance traveled by train A plus the distance traveled by train B is just equal to the total distance. A plus B is equal to 540 miles. Let's make representations. Let T equals the number of hours the two trains will be 540 miles apart and 8 p.m. plus T is equal to the time the two trains will be 540 miles apart. Let's use a chart to organize our data. So the rate of train A is 80 and the rate of train B is 100. Since distance equals rate times time, the distance traveled by train A is 80T and 100T for tra train B. Then our equation is 80T plus 100T equals 540. Simplifying, we have 180T is 540. Divide both sides by 180. We have t equals 3, and the time is 8 plus 3 equals 11 p.m. Problem 3. At 8 a.m., a car, A, began a journey from a point traveling at 40 mph. At 9 a.m., another car, B, started traveling from the same point at 60 mph in the same direction as car A. At what time will car B pass car A? Let's illustrate. In this case, distance traveled by car B is equal to the distance traveled by car A. Let's make representations. Let T equals the number of hours it takes car B to pass car A. 9 a.m. plus T is equal to the time car B passes car A. Let's make use of a chart to organize our data. The rate of car B is 60 mph and car A is 40 mph. The distance traveled by car B is 60 times T is 60 T and car A is 40 times the quantity T plus 1. 40 times T plus 1 is 40 T plus 40. Our equation is 60 T equals 40 times the quantity T plus 1 or 60 T equals 40 T plus 40. Subtracting 
48 to both sides of the equation. We have 20t equals 40, and dividing 20 to both sides of the equation, we have t equals 2, and the time is 9 a.m. plus 2 hours equals 11 a.m. That's all.